The business of payments is starting to see huge change for both corporate and consumer customers, especially with the arrival of technologies like AI. In this chapter, Matthew Davies, head of Global Transaction Services EMEA at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, talks us through how these changes will impact this business. Customers are finding new ways of using technology to make payments. How is this affecting the corporate landscape? We see quite a lot of change actually, and typically you see whatever starts in the consumer space definitely leaches into the corporate space. We saw this previously with uh, faster payments, which was very much a uh, consumer-driven scheme, and is now being more and more uh, adopted in the corporate space as well. But we see it actually in terms of how clients want to interact. And if you think about how we do our personal banking, it's getting easier and easier and easier. We use our phones so much more than we did in the past. And we've actually seen that um, our corporate clients want to do an awful lot more uh, with their mobile device. So for example, um, they don't want to use a token to uh, log on to uh, approve a transaction. They actually prefer using their mobile device, using the face ID or the thumbprint ID uh, to approve payments. And we've built that functionality really in, uh, in response to demand from our clients to, to do a lot more with their mobile device, which is very much driven by the consumer experience. Okay, and we see a lot of news and a lot of talk around AI now. Is that something that's going to be a long-term thing or is it more short-lived? Um, we see huge application for AI in many, many different areas. Um, we've been exploring it a lot in uh, our back office environment, uh, using it in uh, helping us repair payments, for example, automatically. So we can use uh, robotics and AI to automate a lot of those processes. Um, but we also see it in, in solutions that we're bringing to market for our clients. Um, we uh, recently launched uh, a product called Intelligent Receivables, for example, mm -hmm. which uses artificial intelligence uh, to analyze uh, uh, our clients' receivables and help them match them automatically. Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of technology wasn't really available a few years ago, uh, and now we're able to automate to very, very high levels uh, receivables matching for our clients. And all of that is using uh, artificial intelligence. As technology evolves and clients' expectations change, what are the banks doing to keep up with this? Well, we have to constantly evolve to, to meet those changes. And, and the, example, the example I gave before around the consumer experience is one example of how uh, banks are adapting and changing. But we're also looking at, um, uh, for example, how we look at onboarding our clients, you know, the end-to-end -end experience, where we're spending a lot of time uh, understanding that whole end-to-end -end process and trying to digitize it uh, and make it so much simpler, straightforward, and, and streamlined. Um, so we do that uh, on the one hand. On the other hand, um, we're looking at how we can take other technology that we use in other parts of the bank and bring it into, uh, into the corporate bank for our corporate clients as well. Um, to give you one example, we have our digital assistant, which has been very, very uh, popular in the consumer bank, called Erica. It's a chatbot, and it's being used increasingly by our clients. There's a huge growth rate uh, in the use of that technology. Um, we're now looking at how do we deploy that within the corporate bank. Now, it's fair to say a lot of uh, treasurers and a lot of our financial institution clients might not want to deal with us using a chatbot, but that's not to say you can't deploy this technology. Uh, we're using it uh, internally for our servicing uh, staff to be able to um, ask questions of internal systems, interrogate data internally, yeah. and it really simplifies their lives yeah. and allows them to be uh, more responsive to our clients. Okay, great, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.